Hey all, so we're gonna talk about tent graves. I've gotten so many pictures of tent graves from you guys asking me about these. I think photos are going around social media and that's when they spin back to me and I get to explain. So back in the 1800s, graves used to cave in over time as the box that the person was in decomposed. Down in the Cumberland area in Tennessee, which also stretches into some of Arkansas, you will find these cemeteries that have tent graves. Now the tent grave is two pieces of material that have been positioned on each other, so they create a tent over the grave. This is for several reasons. Some is ornateness, where it's defining the grave space so people can see that this person was someone loved and not notable. This also ha really was created for animal predation. The animals would come in as that grave caved in and they would go to dig up what was left. They were trying to create a space that was safer by putting these large pieces of material over the grave. Also kept out grave robbers, which is a thing. So these were made out of sheet metal, marble, sandstone, all sorts of different material. And it all depended on what the family could afford, what was readily available, but people were taking this stance. Now, once something happens, it becomes trendy. Same with this. Once a few people in the cemetery started doing this and everybody felt they needed to do it. One grave to tell you that's in a tent grave cemetery is Johnny and June Cash. They themselves do not have tent graves, but in the cemetery that they are in, there are a lot of tent graves there. So if you go to check out Johnny and June Cash's cemetery plots where they're buried, you're gonna see tent graves.